Hello. After a week's hiatus, we're back again. Just getting my chat up. Yeah, there are certain parts of this of Awakening that I don't like. Um, and one of them is coming up now. Um, I don't think now, now. I think it'll be in like a minute. But um, yeah, it's. Um, don't worry if you can't hear the game. It's um, just doing something. Yeah, the, the the forest part of this is um, really not my favourite part at all in any game, to be honest. Okay, that's good. Looks good. Let's carry on. I nearly lost the save game actually because um, uh, EA Origin is a steaming pile of shit and instead of recognizing that I installed this game by via Steam it actually um, tried to download the game again into the same folder and of course it fucked up my game folder so I tried installing it through Origin to see if that would stop it being a shit it wouldn't so then I turned off updates from Origin and just had them on uh, and then re-downloaded the game on Steam and finally it worked. Fuck you, EA. That's all I can say. Commander. This is Sir Garavel, the new captain of the Guard. I have a matter to bring to your attention. My predecessor, Captain Rullins, and much of the senior staff were inside the keep proper at the time. How they met their fates is unknown. All we know is Darkspawn swarmed the keep. Barely any, truth be told, and none of the Wardens. But there are many soldiers still out patrolling the roads between here and Amaranthine. We can recover from this. That is disturbing, Commander. But all throughout the lands we've heard rumors. Tales of new Darkspawn. Terrifying ones, forged out of nightmare and shadow. Something grave is afoot. I talked with the Dwarf Voldrick earlier. It's his belief, and I concur, that they came from the Keep itself. The Deep Cellars go very deep indeed. Voldrick suspects the Darkspawn found a hidden route into the Keep. Certainly. Potentially urgent. The Orlesians, wardens, I mean, began gathering information while they were here. The most promising lead they found was a wild tale a couple of hunters told. These hunters, Colbert and, well, the other one, claim to have stumbled across an entrance to the deep roads. Darkspawn all over the place, they said. And this was before the fiends appeared throughout the whole Arling. The Wardens were just about to send someone to track down Colbert. One breeding ground, at least. Colbert and his friend are in the city of Amaranthine. Probably amongst the refugees outside the city gate. Commander. Warden Commander, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Mistress Wolsey, sent by order of the First Warden at Whiteheart. I'm to act as treasurer of the Arling of Amaranthine. He believed local men could not be trusted for this post. One of those local men is right here, Mistress Woolsey. I have every confidence in the Vigil's loyalty in the matter of arms. But gold corrupts even the most resolute soul. Not Weishaupt itself. I am from many places. I go where the Wardens command. Sir, the Arling is on the brink of economic collapse. Trade must flow. Merchant caravans are being systematically attacked somewhere along the Pilgrim's Path. 
It is the only route that can reliably provision an army, feed a city, and maintain civilization. In the city of Amaranthine, there is a trader, Mervis, whose caravans have been hit particularly hard. He may know where along the road the Darkspawn, or whatever they are, are striking. No. It is far to the north. The fortress is said to be impregnable. It still has the areas where the griffins of old would breed. But their like will never be seen again. The Fereldons are a proud people. They are proud of you, especially. Had the First Warden sent foreign fighters, it would have caused great distrust amongst the locals. Barrel was specifically chosen as Seneschal because he commands great respect here. About the Arling, he does not. But about the implications, a great deal. When Warden Commander Dryden was cast out of Ferelden generations ago, it created a dangerous precedent. Her true story, and that of the Warden's exile, is one you yourself uncovered at Soldier's Peak, at great personal risk. We are now presented with another precedent. Wardens owning lands and commanding fealty from lesser nobles. If your Arling succeeds, it will be an example to other kingdoms that Wardens are important, blight or no. Very well, Commander. To business then. Orle sent a dozen wardens to the vigil to await your arrival. Nearly all died in the attack, but Kristoff is still in the field. The Orlesian wardens were uneasy that the Darkspawn weren't going to ground with the blight ended. Kristoff was sent to track down some leads. A fortnight ago, he left in a bustle. As best we figure, he went to the city, Amaranthine. He did, but not to me. The Wardens keep their own counsel. Only so many places travelers visit. I check the inns and taverns. Alright. Oh well. <clears throat> Mistress Woolsey says I can set up shop here. The merchant you saved was grateful to be alive. Restock me for a bargain. The savings are yours, of course. You need anything, Commander? Hmm. Oh, nice. Charge a bit of rip off. Man. Think I am. 
Sleets don't lay eggs. That's preposterous. <laughs> Thought to fool me, did ya? <laughs> Hey, I gotta... I gotta thank you for saving my hide today. There was that guy, and he was all... And I was... But then I got hit by an arrow. And then I fell over, and it was... Meep. But you were there, and you were all... <laughs> Spectaculous. Not even a word. I think I remember that <laughs> vaguely. I'm gonna drink to you, Commander. Here's to the. Here's to the. <sighs> uh. <sighs> Should we get a move on? The Tower of Magi has sent me as an ambassador, Commander. In addition to my diplomatic function, I'm a competent enchanter and runesmith. Is there anything you need? Where's Sandal? Certainly. I want you, I want Sandal. You got shit wounds. Commander of the Grey. Right. A while back, they caught a thief in the vigil. Took four wardens to capture him. Gave one of the wardens a black eye, he did. Half joking, they said he might make a good recruit. He's in the dungeon, sir. I also have some letters. Arrived just before you did. Just give me a moment. Ah, Commander. Good thing you're here. This one's been locked up three nights now. Good men died while this one was protected in his cell. The Seneschal said it was your call, Commander. Technically, all the man's guilty of is theft. But who knows what else he might have come here to do. As you wish, Commander. I'll tell the Seneschal you came. He'll want to know what you decide to do with this man. If it isn't the great hero, conqueror of the blight and vanquisher of all evil, aren't you supposed to be ten feet tall with lightning bolts shooting out of your eyes? Sorry. 
I see my reputation precedes me. <laughs> it does. I know you best as the one who murdered my father. I am Nathaniel Howe. My family owned these lands until you showed up. Do you even remember my father? Your family was going to sell us out to the Orlesians. How could he? A Grey Warden stole into his estate and slaughtered him before I could even talk to him. I came here. I thought I was going to try to kill you. To lay a trap for you. But then I realized I just wanted to reclaim some of my family's things. It's all I have left. If you're asking whether I knew what he was up to, the answer is no. I was squired in the free marches. Look, I don't know what happened with the Kuzlans. It sounds like it was horrible. The entire war was. Whatever my father did, however, shouldn't harm my whole family. The Howes are pariahs now. Those of us left. It's all thanks to you. And now you get to decide my fate. Ha! Ironic, isn't it? The house served Ferelden for twelve generations. My ancestors served under King Callanhad. And now it's all lost. So go ahead and do what you're going to do. Oh, hey, Vampire Killer. How's it going, man? The Darkspawn are a menace. If it weren't for the Blight, maybe my father would never have done what he did. But I can't do anything about them, can I? There's just you and the Grey Wardens, here in my home. I'm not without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. Then you weren't doing it right. That's what Royce would say, not me. Hunting, scouting, poisons. Why? What do you care? You're right. I'll go join King Alistair's service immediately. He'd be certain to give a how another chance. Already? Good. I brought the Seneschal for you, Commander. I see you've spoken to our guest. Quite the handful, isn't he? Have you decided what's to be done with him? Ahau. He figures that they would turn up again. The Hows are implacable enemies, Commander. You what? I'm sorry, Commander. The right of conscription? On the prisoner? No, absolutely not. Hang me first. I can't decide if this is a vote of confidence or punishment. An interesting decision, Good Commander. Advice. Come with me, sir. We'll see if you survive the joining. From this moment forth, Nathaniel Howe, you are a Grey Warden. The moment of truth. The how is stronger than I expected. For better or for worse, he will live.
equip you. Daniel how? Oh, you haven't got a weapon. Right, okay, we'll sort that out. If you can't have it, then pretty fuck me. There you go. Lad. Shit. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Hello. I don't mean to alarm you, Commander, but it's possible there are still darkspawn in the vigil. Quite the breastplate you have there. Um... Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. Yeah, I'm good at good at killing darkspawn, but not at digging. We have men who can unearth the rubble at your command. Whenever you're ready, I can take you to the basement. Let's go. Straight away, sir. But it is. It's ridiculous. It's so silly. Here we are. The vigil goes deep, real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades. And that blasted Dworkin's explosives didn't do the structure any favours. No one knows. The Vigil's always been here. Since the Barbarians, they say. Who knows what's at the bottom? I don't know, but no one saw the Darkspawn approach on the surface either. Maybe they found a way to attack from below. You heard the commander. Put your backs into it. This is where you come in. Who knows what's up ahead? We'll be back here. Mm -hmm. So, mage, huh? What's it like? To have all this power at my fingertips. No, to always have to wear a skirt. <laughs> oh, you don't know the story behind the robes. You know how strict things are in the circle? Well, of course you do. Well, the robes make quick trysts in the corner easy. No laces or buttons, you're just well, you're done before the Templars catch on. Really? Just ask anyone. She was... she was like a mother to me. We must save her. Got it.
who's Danny in? I'll get on it. All right. Thank the Maker. Please let us out. Really? Maybe we'll just stay here. Rotting bodies don't smell half as bad as the food they give us. Now is better than later. Ah, she's so supposed to be. I think there. I can help with that. Okay. Then you can stay down there. You're getting out, you little shits. I think I can help with that. No, you can't. No. No, we're drier. We have to help her. There must be some way. A dryer. Hmm. 
You murdered a slew of Darkspawn there. I... well... You hear the stories about you and the Wardens. But to see it firsthand... Oh, they did too. Even though the attack was a surprise, they killed droves of Darkspawn. Just ask the poor maids who have to clean it up. But you... you're something else. Anyway, it looks like the explosives caved this section in. I brought along Master Voldrick. So, this is how you humans ply your stonecraft. Disgraceful, that is. What, well, this would barely last a few centuries. I wager these passages may go far enough to connect to the deep roads. I, the Orlesian lads, would have had a terrible surprise. Explains how experienced men fell to the Darkspawn. This is a grave matter. If we don't shut these tunnels, the Darkspawn can attack from below again. And trust his blood, there are basement entrances throughout the keep. There's no way to defend against that. Then we follow the tunnels and hope to find a single point to block off. Never you fear, lass. With the Warden's muscle and my stonecraft, we'll find a way. We'll need some time, but as soon as we clear it, we'll let you know. Of course. Hmm. Seneschal Veril is ready for you in the throne room, Commander. Your vassals await. Just give me a moment. the dirty little dwarf, aren't you? You're quite the dirty little mage. I do my best. Still, I'm no ale-swilling mountain of belches like you. And I'm no winking, slack-jawed coward like you. True. We should form a club. Commander, so this is human construction, is it? My brother said you'd need a stonemason, but he didn't know the half of it. The Darkspawn did a number on this keep of yours, but I suspect it was crumbling well before they showed up. Your Seneschal gave me some fancy decree promising men and monies to fix the vigil, but it's a paltry sum. I suppose it would be sufficient to reconstruct the walls to human standards, but who'd want that? I'm not certain of the character of the stone in these parts, but we'd need more men for certain. Proper skilled men, not some starving dusters, right? Which all boils down to coin, really. It will be, Warden. Good luck to anyone who tries to breach these walls. Ah! The thing is, though, at some point, he comes back for more money. And then um, there's actually a place where you can go in the uh, for the game to get stone, and it gets shut off after a while after you've been there once. Did we have to come all this yeah. way? It's cold here, very cold. <sighs> it's not that cold. The wardens have been some of our best customers, and they need us. I miss my shop. This place is so drab. It offends my sensibilities. And trust they preserve. Ah, Warden Commander. I represent Master Wade, the finest. And bloody coldest. I can't feel my fingers. <clears throat> finest armorer in Denerim. <laughs> I thought, well, we thought that you might have need of an armorer. This is a temporary relocation. The Darkspawn are most active around Amaranthine. We thought we could help. And I suppose the money the Crown paid us had nothing to do with it? Shh! Providing arms and armor for common soldiers' own dignity. <laughs> if we are going to be so dreadfully plebeian, I don't suppose Amaranthine has any proper medal. Silverite? Viridium? Or are we back to bronze weapons? Stone clubs? Wade has uh, a point. He's happiest and fastest when presented with a challenge. 
If you come across any deposits of ore, let us know. Ah, oh, of course. back. You need anything? <laughs> this will help a great deal. Viridium? Armor and weapons could be made with this. Commander, if you like, we could outfit your men. It wouldn't cost you anything, but some soldiers would have to guard the miners. So I'm to make armor for all Amaranthine's rabble? Karen, you abuse me so. It's unconscionable. Commander's orders. Fine, fine, I'll work. But I want a challenge one day. Something to sink my teeth into. Samuel! Groundskeeper Samuel! Is that you? Who? Make his breath. If it isn't little Nate. I'd know that face anywhere. Groundskeeper, I am overjoyed that you stayed on. Please, do you know how my brother died? And my sister? I was in the free marches. Your brother died in the war. And Lady Delilah... Don't you know? She isn't dead, son. Not that I know of. Last I heard, she married a storekeep in Amaranthine. Don't know which one. Poor girl. Did you hear that? My sister is alive. Good for her. Could we ask around the shops next time we're in Amaranthi? Yeah, okay. Thank you. I would be interested to know just what happened to her. Sir, take this pouch of coins in return. But now I'm off to Vigil's keep. Ah, nice. What's that? Nice. 
very nice. Uh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Happy with that. Let's carry on. Ducks, kill them all. Another step and poor Lady Eileen dies. Where's Lord Bensley? The deal was he'd give us the money himself. That's the one who killed the Archdemon. Andraste, preserve me. Shut your trap! We still have the girl. Hold! Bloody hold! Kill the warden! Now! so you can get off my back.
Ah, it's the Warden Commander. The rumours about you did not overstate it. I have a business proposal. Look for me by the house near the gates. I promise it will be worthwhile. No thanks. Right, we're in the city. Where's the tavern? Hey, what are you staring at? Looking to start something? Oh, here to investigate the chasm, are you? It's about time. I can't take all the credit for finding the rift, you know. Mika here fell in first. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's quite a ways out of town. We were tracking a buck off in that direction, you see, before this darkspawn mess. We'd been on his tail for about a week at that point. I'd wager he thought it was great fun leading us on a merry chase as he did. Oh, the chasm. Yes, uh, we saw it coming over our rise. It was really something to behold. A huge cleft, as though the Maker himself had cracked the earth in two, like... like an egg. I like eggs. It looked like someone had tried to build over it, but it must have been abandoned a long time ago. No one in town knew about it. Well, people, I suppose. Maybe even the Darkspawn. Well, of course, we had to investigate. That was when Mika fell in. A shriek like you wouldn't believe, and he was gone. Earth crumbled, not stable. Right. And as Mika lay there yelling about his knee or his head or what have you, the Darkspawn appeared. Uh, more than a brood and less than a horde. They seemed... Occupied, like they had some place really important they had to be. Didn't notice us at all, think the Maker. The Darkspawn was so occupied as to overlook two screaming injured men. Boggles the mind. I marked the chasm on my map so we could avoid it, but sounds like you want to know where it is, so here you go. So, are we getting anything for our trouble? A whole sovereign. If there's ever a reason to fall into a Darkspawn pit, here it is. Make her bless you. Why won't you let us in? The Dark Spawn are coming. It's the constable's orders. There's no place for you in the city. Well, they don't look infected. And he has children. Look, we let some in, we'll have the rest scratching at our eyes. No exceptions. Those smugglers are bastards for taking advantage of the chaos. Uh, excuse me, but I need to search your packs for smuggled goods. But I have to. Constable's orders. We've been having trouble with smugglers and... What are you doing, man? Are you accusing the Commander of the Grey of smuggling? But I... I... You said everyone... You are dismissed. I apologize. Smugglers and thieves have all but taken over the city. Yes, Warden Commander. The smugglers have a scrambling, to be honest. We could certainly use your help in this. Come speak to me later if you're interested. Ah, Warden Commander. I take it you've decided to help us. With trade slowed to a crawl, smugglers have moved in, selling stolen goods at exorbitant prices. If we could shut down their operation and seize their supplies, we could distribute it to the needy. There is a smuggler doing business in the market. He probably knows where the hideout is. We haven't been able to get anything from him, but maybe you can. Greetings. Could I interest you in, uh, wait a minute. My lad said they saw you talking to the... You'll learn not to stick your nose where it don't belong. I'll get on it.
Warden Commander. Thank the Maker you're finally here. I was afraid our messages never got through to you. Excuse my haste, but this is rather an urgent matter. Our caravans are being attacked. The wagons are burnt to ashes, and th there have been no survivors. It's gotten worse lately. People from the neighboring villages have found guards torn limb from limb and left in the village square. Yes, that much is clear. Whatever it is, it's completely crippled trade between Amaranthine and Denerim. No one wants to travel the road through the Wending Wood. Can the Grey Wardens help at all? Oh, Maker, bless you and watch over you. If you can stop the killings, the Merchant's Guild will make a hefty donation to your organization. You have my promise. Good. Greetings, Warden Commander. You're the sort who delights in helping the common man, yes? May I direct you to the Merchant's Guild's board? There is good coin in this. Sure. If you ever... Sure. Personal, just business. I'm kidding. So he just runs away. It's like, okay. what? What? You were scared. Take it you're an admirer, Ogren. What? No! No. Well, not unless... No! Good. Then I needn't worry about getting too drunk at camp. <laughs> okay. I like you, just not in that way. 
All right, all right. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Any luck with the smugglers? That house has been locked up for years. To think that all this time it's been hiding the entrance. There will surely be someone on guard. Where there's a guard, there's a key. Oh, no one's that stupid. If you can find a way into the hideout, the smugglers won't have a chance. Good luck, Commander. I mean, surely. Now, better than later. Got it. Oh, these guys deserve everything they get. We'll put the key outside our door. Giving some of my boys trouble, weren't you? So well, I'm in Got that sorted out.
Anything to report? The city of Amaranthine owes you a great debt. Thank you, Commander. Nah, you're all right. You're going beyond the call of duty, Warden Commander. Times must have been hard, Delilah. But you can do better than this. Come back to the estate until we find somewhere else. What? <laughs> oh, Nathaniel, I didn't marry Albert out of desperation. I adore him. He's so much better than that stuck-up Coosland boy that Father kept trying to set me up with. Oh, uh, that was you, wasn't it? Awkward. And I... I'm sorry about your family. What my father did was terrible. Thank the Maker I'm finally away from his evil. Father's evil? Isn't that overstating things a little? He got caught up in politics. You weren't here. You didn't see what he did, Nathaniel. You want the culprit who destroyed our family? It was him without question. I had no idea. Of course you did. But you always worshipped Father, right from when you were a little boy. Come, brother. Let us sit and catch up a bit, shall we? She said she wants me to come back. Once all this is done, meet her husband. She's due by the spring. She seems happy. She said Father deserved to die. I still can't believe it. I thought he had his reasons. It was a war for Andraste's sake. Before I went to the free marches, he was never... How could he have changed so much? Or we'd all be dead, and the blight still going on. Some hero. I wish I'd known some of this sooner. I feel like such a fool. Now please, let's get back to our business. I need to think. Okay. Why can't the Darkspawn just die? Right, that exactly. Well, if it isn't the Warden Commander, how have you been? I suppose congratulations are in order. And you. I hear the Darkspawn are not retreating as they should. It sounds like the Wardens have their hands full. I'd offer to help, but I'm afraid my presence is required elsewhere. And by then you will no doubt have had this mess sorted out. <laughs> But we shall see. The College of the Magi is convening in Cumberland, and I must attend. Hopefully, all this will blow over before it's begun. But you have enough on your mind as it is. I shan't trouble you with this further. That I can understand. I'm sure you will hear news of the meeting in your own travels. Now, I have a great many preparations to make before I leave for Navarra. But perhaps there is something you can do for me. One of my colleagues, Ines, has spent the last few months in the Wending Wood. 
The Circle has been unable to reach her, given the trouble in the area. If you happen to find yourself in the wood, on your travels, perhaps you could tell her about the meeting of the College. Then we shall just have to get by without her. It would be a pity, though. Hobbies and eccentricities aside, Ines is a well-respected mage and a voice of reason, something we could use on our side. But I can't waste any more time. Good luck to you, Warden Commander. I like him, but that's not something I'll be doing. Uh, because that woman is a twit. Who wants to stay there picking flowers and doing useless crap like that rather than actually helping people, so she can stay there. I'm not just saying that when you speak to her, she's an absolute twit. She's just like, no, I can't go leave my flowers. It's like, what? For now. Sworn that fly was buzzing again. Har! Let me tell you about my life in one word. Uh, oh no, don't take me back to the tower. I'm far, far too delicate. I'm not only a dwarf, I'm a moron. Listen to me fart. Oh no, big Templar man. What are you going to do with that sword? <laughs> Ew. Don't play with fire unless you want to get burned, son. Can I talk to the statue? Look at that! <laughs> Was Andraste really that much of a looker? Don't you think she would have been, I don't know, a barbarian? Just wondering aloud. After all, Andraste did exist, didn't she? What would she have thought of the Circle of Magi? Forcing mages to fight demons, or be made tranquil? No doubt you're right. Seems to me that Andraste counseled men to seek their own path to the Maker. But the Chantry uses her words as a reason to collar us just for being who we are. Sure, but we're not dragons. We can think for ourselves, usually. Oh well. She's still quite a looker for a prophet. I'm just saying. Hmm. I guess. Commander. Just give me a moment.
Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come to swear fealty to you and the Grey Wardens. These were our Rendon House vassals. Now they will be yours. Alhau was enough of a bastard to do that all on his own. But it is possible he had confederates. Some of these lords bore Rendon no love, but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Tread carefully, Commander. Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Arl of Amaranthi. Commander. Ban Esmeral of Amaranthine, as is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmeral, will be faithful to the Arl in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. Never will I bear arms against him or his heirs. So I say, in the sight of the Maker. I promise that I, Lord Edelbrecht. And so the ceremony is complete. Long live the Warden Commander! Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. There's really only two who can offer real support in the war. Lord Edelbrick, master of the Firavel Plains, controls more farmland than anyone else. He's powerful and popular. Ban Esmeral rules the city, wealthiest in the room by far. She may not be loved, but she cannot be ignored. Warden Commander, we've all heard so much about you. So many good things, unbelievable things. But many of your deeds cost people here a chance at great advancement. So many fortunes were deeply intertwined with the old Arl. Some nobles here, they seek to end your dominion over them. I cannot give what I do not possess. I've had occasion to intercept some of their missives. They are cryptic things. Any individual message is unintelligible, but together they form a pattern. They mean to end you before you can begin. A deadly coalition. I would take this matter seriously, Warden. They know of your capabilities and they're spending a fortune to see their aims fulfilled. Given a few days, I can retrieve the messages. I would have brought them tonight, but I didn't know if warning you would be wise. I've much to lose and precious little to gain. Farewell. We will meet again soon. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah. If you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Do you know the conspirators? The right of high justice is yours, and treachery is a capital offense. She's a sly one, Sir Tamra, but knowledgeable about such things. Better to be a touch paranoid than turning up face down in a ditch. To proceed, we'd need strong proof, and that'll be hard to gather. There are options, some I would not recommend. They could turn the nobles fierce. We could have some soldiers try to spy on the nobility. I suppose that might bear fruit. There are also rumors of someone called the Dark Wolf, who finds information for a fee. Dangerous fellow, by all accounts. Not leading likely, in truth. Good men. Lousy spies. No idea, honestly. Somewhere in the foreign quarter of Amaranthine is all I know. You need to head to the city, then, and chase down a ghost. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. Honored to meet you, Warden Commander. You come to us during desperate times. Not more about your precious farms, Edelbrecht. Some in our Arling do not have the comfort of city walls. On the plains, the situation is dire. As we feast, the peasants on our lands are starving, or worse. The city's defenses are more important, Edelbrecht. 
There may be wheat in the silos now, but if the farmers die, where will you get your food? Then I pray to the Maker that your choices are wise. Okay. I see that Lord Edelbrecht wastes no time in canvassing you for soldiers to defend his farms. Do not be deceived, Commander. His livelihood is all he cares about. Amaranthin is the jewel of the Arling, and she must be protected. Pragmatism. A farming hovel can be rebuilt with straw and mud. Amaranthin was built over generations. If she falls, then this great Arling will be diminished. Wealth is well and good, but what measure do you put to human life? The folk in the country outnumber your city dwellers many times over. I would not be so vulgar as to violate the decorum of this event. Commander. Okay. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Edelbrecht speaks truly, sir, but things are dire. He and Ban Esmeral both contest the deployment of soldiers. But we don't have enough men. It's a matter of what you want to protect. The city, the land, trade. As you wish. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, uh, if you want... As you wish, Commander. Clear the hall. The Commander has business to attend to. Alright. And that's where we're going to leave it for the first part. We'll be uh, back tomorrow. See you then.